Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, the explanation session about Flow Speak. And I'm very happy to join you. My name is Matt Sussman. I'm the CEO and co founder of the company. We're using brand new technology, uh, AI voice technology, to help non native speakers improve their English speaking skills. And I'm very nice. happy uh, to work with. You know, Professor Rafki Mosba and also uh, Noor El Huda. Uh, thank you very much for uh, organizing this session. Very excited to work with you and all of the students, a part of your university. Uh, everyone seems to be from Setif, so this is wonderful for me. Uh, even though I'm here in California, I feel connected to everybody okay. here. I feel like I'm closer to Algiers. I feel like I'm closer to Setif, uh, and so. <laughs> Uh, this is a wonderful. Great. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yes, it's wonderful to be able to connect like this. So it's my pleasure today to explain, uh, you know, why we formed the company, what Flow is about, and also I want to give everybody a demonstration of how Flow works. Okay, so I want to make this interactive. Everybody have a chance to feel a part of this webinar. So. Um, I encourage everybody to put questions or comments into the chat uh, at any time you want, and I'll be happy to answer questions as, as well. So if you're ready, please type ready in the chat. Are you ready to get started? If you're ready, please type ready. Okay, so Professor Mosba says he's ready. Lima's ready. Great. Okay, anybody else ready? Okay, Takya is ready. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so um, I'm going to share my screen and I want to show you um, a presentation first. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay. So I think everyone can see this, right? Okay. So FlowSpeak is a brand new technology, brand new type of product. And I'm very glad that Noral Huda found out about us about a year ago. So I've been uh, communicating by email with her for, for about a year now, trying to set this up. So it's very exciting that everything is getting started now. So this is brand new technology to help non-native you know, students and professionals learn to speak English more confidently. So for example, have you heard these expressions before? Wear different hats, wear different hats, or being a team player, or being back on track. These are the types of uh, expressions that we use in everyday English, especially in the uh, business field. If you're trying to work uh, in English, uh, you'll hear these expressions. And these are the types of expressions you can practice and get more familiar with uh, by practicing with flow. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about our company first so you can understand why we made Flow. So to explain about my personal background, um, I've been living in Japan for 25 years. So I understand uh, from Nora Huda that many of the students are, are first year undergraduate students. So maybe you're about 18, 19 years old, you're just getting started. That's wonderful. When I finished college, uh, I had a hard time finding a job. So I took a job in Japan to teach English and it would change my life. And I only planned to be in Japan for one year and then come back to California. But I liked Japan so much that I stayed there for 25 years. So I taught English in Japan. Uh, I started a business in Japan. I also worked for a scholarship program called the Fulbright Scholarship. I was the executive director. So um, I've been working in education for almost all of my career. And I've seen so many people who struggle uh, with English. I met so many Japanese learners, but also learners from around the world where speaking is very hard. Japanese people work very hard at reading and writing English, but they just don't have the chance to speak English. So I was talking to my new friend, John Goodman, who is a tech expert. He's been working in the tech industry for 15 years. And he said, we have modern technology now. Uh, in the last two years, the AI voice technology has progressed so fast that we can make a product to help people practice speaking. So John and I formed a partnership 
I moved back from Japan to the United States uh, to start the company. Uh, we have uh, support, uh, investment support from two gentlemen who used to work at Google. So I think everybody knows what Google is, right? So they left Google and um, they, they are, were supporting new businesses. They gave us a small investment to get our business started. And we created uh, our product and we it's been on the market for about a year now. We have uh, over 10,000 people from uh, over 30 countries using our product. I'm very excited uh, that people from Algeria now will be using our product. So I'm very, very excited uh, about that. So what is Flow? Flow is a new app where you can access from your phone, your computer, from your tablet, any device, but it needs to be connected to the internet. It allows you to practice speaking as much as you like. So if you really want to get better at speaking English, guess what? You need to practice speaking English. That's the that's the simple solution. So if you take a piano lesson, if you take a piano class, then you have to practice the piano. If you like soccer, then you have to practice soccer. If you want to improve at speaking English, you have to practice speaking. But what happens is many people around the world in Japan, Algeria, Turkey, um, Brazil, don't have anybody to speak English with. So that's why we made Flow. So you can practice anytime you want in your home, privately. Because you're practicing by yourself, there's no embarrassment. You can change your voice. You can make your tone high or low. You can try to change the sound to try to fix your pronunciation. Every time you speak, you get uh, instant AI scoring feedback. And this is what it looks like. You can see a breakdown for your pronunciation, your speed, and vocabulary. So you can, you can learn how to get better. Uh, we've been uh, working with partners around the world. So universities in the United States, like USC, uh, Georgetown, also universities in Japan, Fulbright programs, um, universities in China, Turkey, uh, this is the first time to work uh, with a university in Algeria. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited. So I'm going to add your university logo uh, to our list. So let me uh, share with you some learners that have been using our platform so far. This is Dante. He's from Brazil. And uh, he came to the United States to on the Fulbright Exchange program. And so he knows he's been studying and reading and writing English for many years. But he said, I used to feel stuck, like my tongue is locked. But now after practicing with flow, I feel more fluent and that it's easier to start speaking. So uh, do you feel that way? I wonder if some of the students feel like, ah, you know, I like English, but it's so hard. It makes my, my tongue feels like it's locked. But if you practice, you will definitely get better. So that's why we made Flow. Here's another story. Hitomi is a Japanese uh, teacher in Georgia. Uh, she came from Japan and she's teaching Japanese in the state of Georgia on the East Coast. So I'm on the West Coast in California. Georgia is on the East Coast. She's teaching the Japanese language. She's here. She says, with Flow, I feel like I'm experiencing real conversations with native speakers. It's really helpful because I can practice at my own pace and be ready for times when I suddenly need to speak English. So maybe if you feel comfortable speaking English, but you get stuck when um, you know somebody asks you a question and you're not sure, there's kind of a pause. You want to speak a little bit more confidently, a little bit more quickly. Flow can help you with that. Okay, and then one last one. This is Elaine. She's from the Philippines. She's a virtual assistant, uh, people who work uh, online uh, with clients around the world. She says, learning English really isn't rocket science, but it can be overwhelming. Flow is fantastic because it's less intimidating, more personalized and interactive. So maybe you like English, but it feels like, oh, it's so hard. It's, it's like overwhelming. But if you practice, 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 you'll definitely get better. Your confidence will increase. You'll get more used to common expressions. There's a big difference between textbook English and everyday English. 
So for example, uh, you know, very textbook English is, hello, nice to meet you. But very common English is, hi, what's going on? You know, there's a different way, a more casual way of speaking that you can practice with flow. This is my contact information. I'll put this in the chat also um, so that uh, anybody can contact me if you have any questions. I want to uh, you know, support all of the students, a part of Nora Huda's um, you know, project. I wanna make sure all of you feel like you understand this and uh, that you can practice comfortably with flow. If you have any troubles, uh, contact me and we will definitely help you. Okay, so the next part of the session is I'd like to show you uh, how flow works. Okay, so the next part in English, when we say to explain how something works, we call it a demo. So uh, if you want to see the demo, write demo in the chat. Okay, if you want to see the demo, write demo in the chat. Okay, so let's see who's going to write demo. Lima says demo. Nora Huda says demo, Lima says demo, good. Anybody else want to see the demo? Okay, um, let's see. Where is my, where did my, uh, my screen go? There it is, okay. All right, next I'm gonna show you how flow works. Okay, I'm gonna give you the demo. That's what we say when you do an explanation session, okay. So I'm gonna share my screen again and I'm gonna switch over to the dashboard. Okay, so let me show you this first. I'm going to start from the very beginning. So if I if I go to the log, when you go to the sign in screen, you'll see this screen that says flow. You can do this on your phone or you can do it on your computer, but it says create an account. I'm going to make a special account for everybody so that you're all part of the same group for uh, that is part of uh, Nora Huda's uh, research. So I'm going to send you a special link later uh, so you can sign up and you can sign up um, for free. So I, I'm cooperating with Nora Huda so that um, we can see, uh, you know, the results and we want to encourage everybody to practice and it's going to be totally free. Um, you're the first people, I think, in Algeria to use this because Nora Huda uh, has been working with me for over a year now. So it's very easy to create an account. You can write your name in here. Um, I could type Matt and then put in your email address. Um, I could write Matt at newvoicelearning.com like that. And then you can you have your choice to put in your phone number or your uh, password. So uh, I'm going to look for Algeria here. I hope there it is on the list. So you can put in your Algeria phone number if you want, 213, okay? And then your number. Or if you'd rather make a password, you can click this line here. It says use email and password instead. If I click that, it changes to a password and you can make up your own password, right? You know how to do that. So you have your choice of the phone number or password. The phone number is very useful because if you forget your password, then we can send you an automatic verification code to get back in easily, okay? If you forget your password, then we have to send you a reset. It takes time. But if you use your phone, it's a little more convenient. So I'm gonna log in with an account that I already have, uh, my Matt, uh, uh, and I'll put in my password and I'm logged in. Okay, so this first screen you'll see is called the weekly mix. Everybody can see that, right? So this is the weekly mix where you get six lessons every week. Now the goal here is to try to do at least one lesson a day. The way to get better at English is use English every day. Practicing a little bit every day will make a big difference. So I encourage you to try to do one lesson a day. That means you could do six lessons each week. If you want to do more, wonderful. But try to make a personal goal to finish six lessons. As you finish the lessons, check marks will fill in here next to the lesson. And there's different types of lessons. And you'll see they're very short. It's just two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. So it's very easy to finish a lesson. So try to practice a little bit. The reason why doing a le one lesson a day is very good is because you, you'll, you'll get better and better every, day, every time you practice. And you'll start thinking in English. And you'll start sounding more and more natural. OK, so for example, uh, let's try this lesson called Stance. OK, I'm going to click this, and it's going to start. Vocabulary lesson. 
let's learn how to use the word stance. To get started, say the word stance. So first we have to repeat the word. So I'm going to practice here. I tap one time. So with, with my cursor, I tap once and then I speak and then I tap a second time. Ready? I'm going to tap stance. Then I tap a second time. Then within a few seconds, my voice is recorded, uh, it converted into text, and I get a score. Okay, then I can Excellent. keep going. Now let's say stance in a short sentence. Ask, what's your stance? So then I can practice and I can say, what's your stance? Okay, and I can practice. Uh, One use of the word stance refers to the position a person's body is in. This is often used when talking about sports or physical activity. Repeat this sentence. Sumo wrestlers often have a very wide stance. So now the lesson is explaining what stance means. So stance means to stand in a certain pattern, right? So if you're, if you're doing karate, you stand like this. If you're a sumo wrestler, you stand like this. If you're um, trying to dance, you might put your hand up. Um, so there's different um, types of stances, stance. And so we can practice, it says, repeat this sentence. So I can practice this sentence, ready? Sumo wrestlers often have a very wide stance. Have you ever seen sumo? Sumo is really popular in Japan. Um, okay, so they have a wide stance so people can't push them over. Okay, when I say a sentence like this, then you'll see my score, it says good here. If I click on the good, it'll give me a breakdown for my pronunciation, my speed and fluency. So, uh, and then I'll get a score for my pronunciation down below. If it's green, it means it's clear. If it's yellow, it's moderate. If it's red, it's not very clear. You can also click on each word to get a breakdown for the sound of each uh, phonetic sound within the word. So for example, sumo, it's spelled S-U-M-O, but it sounds like sumo, and it tells me how I did on each of those sounds. So if I say something that's not very clear, for example, if I say it with a heavy accent, sumo often have wide stance something like that, my score will probably go down. So you see, before it said good, now it says okay, and my score went down. So it says my pronunciation went to 65%, my speed went to 31%, fluency to 59. Also, I can do a grammar checker. So this is a pronunciation side, but I can change to grammar too. And it can check if I made any mistakes. So maybe, now this is a developing technology. So you'll notice even a native speaker, I don't get 100%. So if you get 80% and above, that's an excellent. If it's between 60% and 79, you get a, a good score. If it's below 60%, you get an okay score. So all of these together, pronunciation, speed, and fluency, average is below 60%. That's why I get an okay score. The goal is to try to get an excellent score, um, but don't worry if your score is 75 or 76 or 78. There's really not a, a difference between those. Think over 80%, over 60% or below 60% as a general guide, as a general guide. But also you can see if your voice is converted correctly. So you can see here that I'm supposed to say sumo wrestlers often have a wide stance. But it says here, it says soon Mao often have wide stamps. So it's totally different. So you can, you can also see for yourself if the voice technology can understand what you're saying. Okay. Uh, so it's a safe way to practice. Another meaning of stance refers to a person's thoughts or attitudes towards something. This meaning of stance is more commonly used than the previous meaning. Repeat this sentence. What's your stance on global warming? So stance also means like, what's your opinion? What's your opinion? What do you think? So you can say, what's your stance? What do you think uh, about global warming? What's your stance on global warming? Is a way of asking people their opinion. So I can say, 
what's your stance on global warming? It's just another way of practicing a little bit more common English. Okay, and I can also listen to myself. What's your stance on global warming? So I can listen to my own voice compared to the, the example. Repeat this sentence. What's your stance on global warming? So that comparison or doing it back and forth is a very powerful way to improve your English um, you know, pronunciation, your, your speed, your intonation. So the copying, uh, copying is a very powerful way to get better at speaking English. Good job. Let's try another. Say this sentence. Leon, take a stance. Don't just sit there with no opinion. Okay, so it continues like that for a while. At the end of the lesson, it'll ask you if you want to share your responses with the community. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to go through this one. Leon, take a stance. Don't just sit there with no opinion. Okay, next. Now it's your turn. How would you ask a friend of yours their opinion on a major problem in the world? Okay, so when you get to the end of the lesson, it'll it'll say, I'm just going to go through this part. Test. <laughs> well done. Let's do one more. Tell a coworker to speak up about a topic. Okay, and I'll just show you one more thing. Here it says talk to a coworker. You can also see examples. So here, some of the answers will give you examples of how you can interact. These are very helpful about learning the natural way of speaking, and you can listen to them as well. Alex, I know you want to stay neutral, but it's time to take a stance on this. Okay, so I can say, Alex, I know you want to stay neutral, but it's time to take a stance on this. Now, when you first try this, you'll think, oh my gosh, it's so fast. The native speakers are so fast, but if you practice over and over, you'll get better and better and it'll feel more easy to follow the speed. It just takes practice. Okay, so this is the button that says finish lesson. I click that, then I'm done the lesson. And you can see there's a tap to retry button. You can retry over and over as many times as you like. That's also uh, each lesson it'll say tap to retry. Um, that's a very powerful button also because you can say it you know, five times, 10 times, 20 times until you're comfortable. Um, repetition is a, is a good way to, to get better. All right, so here's the button. It says, share my responses with the community. If I click that, then one of the responses that I left here will go into our community channel. If you want to, if you don't want to share, that's okay. But if you want to share, you can get feedback from other people on our team, on the flow team, or from other learners from other countries. So here's Danny Danielle, uh, and let's see what he or she said. The works of local artists caught my interest the most because it was nice to see such talent that was down near me. Okay, so Danny's practicing, I give him a like, uh, and I can also leave feedback for Danny. I can say, you know, nice job, Danny. And maybe I'll leave him a rocket. Okay. So now Danny's going to get some encouragement. So if you want to leave your responses, you know, you'll see me or John or other people from the flow team or other learners from around the world give you encouragement and give you feedback uh, on your English. So we have lots of people in here practicing. Sharon from Indonesia, uh, A. Ellie there. I'm not sure what flag that is. Employer will admit you, you're a team player. She's practicing the team player lesson. Employer will admit you when you are a team player. A team player. Okay, good. So I give him a like. Um, so you can see different people. Maria, there's John. Also, when you earn a badge, uh, we celebrate that in the community channel. So why don't I show you what the badges are? I'll go back to the weekly mix and you'll see that this is my account, right? So it's got my photo, my name. And then as I finish lessons, so I just finished the stance lesson, I get, I got a click, uh, a check mark in the box. So it means I finished and then I get points. And when I get points, my confidence level goes up. So I have a 541 confidence level. When you start, you have 100 points and the top is a thousand points. So I'm about halfway. I'm about halfway with all the points. 
when I get to the 200, 300, 400, 500 level, I get badges. So as you finish and do more and more lessons, you get badges. So I'll show you what the badges look like. So here's an example of a 500 level badge. And you can share this on social media. You can sh show your friends on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn. Uh, you know, you can show employers that you're working on your English. It shows like, okay, this person is working hard on their English, has ability. Uh, it, it gives people proof. So how do you get a, a high flow score? This is my score and it's, this is in the progress. So you see the progress at the top. This is part of the menu. And this is my confidence level, 541. And it's for consistency, lessons, and community. So consistency means that you use flow uh, every day. Uh, so I've used flow for 19 days in 30 days. So you can see that this circle is uh, about th two thirds full. Okay, so the consistency, then when I finish lessons, the more lessons I finish, I get more points. And if I participate in the community, give likes, give comments, ask questions, then you get points for that too. And as you do all of these things, you get more and more points and you can get your badges and you can get the highest badge is a thousand. So that's your goal. That's your goal is to get up as high as you can. So I'm sure that Nora Huda and Professor Mosba will be looking at people's confidence level scores to see who can get the highest. So that's how flow works. Um, that's how the lessons are. Um, and I'm happy uh, to answer any questions if people have any questions about how flow works. And so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. Okay, so uh, Professor Mospa, that's great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Does anybody have any questions? If you have a question, you can uh, put it in the chat. Any questions? I'll put questions. Okay. And uh, Nora Huda, do you have any questions? Do you think any questions that students might have? Well, no, I don't think so. You, you just explain it very well. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to to add this point. Flow is what it was a platform, not an application. Then uh, they develop it into an application, so everyone can uh, download it in, in their phones or tablets, etc. As you said yeah. before. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Nora, for that. You're right. So yes, first we built it as the platform, and then we made the app later. So you've seen our progress. Uh, yes. And so if you want to, it's very convenient to use on your phone. Um, I'll show you what it looks like if you use it on your phone. Let me let me see. I'll just what it, it just gets more narrow. So this is on my computer. So it's very wide. But if I make this more narrow, then it looks more like a phone screen. And you'll see the menu is at the bottom. So it's the same type of features. I have the weekly mix, which are the lessons, and you'll see it gets into a narrow uh, type of pattern. And you can see I finished this one on stance, so I got the check mark. I have the community channel, and then I have my progress, so I can see my score. So that's all the same. It just looks a little more narrow uh, in the phone. But you can practice. You can go outside, uh, practice some lessons, and then come home and work on your computer. Um, so you can be flexible about doing it. And we have lots of different types of lessons. So um, this the this weekly mix is a mix, a random mix of lessons. But if you want to see other lessons, there's other choices. You can go to explore here. And if I click on this, you'll see over 400 lessons. So here's some lessons about doing, uh, you know, introducing yourself, how to start a casual conversation. Hi, how's it going? Um, there's lessons on, you know, being professional and introducing yourself. There's lessons on food. Um, there's lessons on a job interview. So maybe some of the students will be doing a job interview in English uh, in the future. So you can practice some of these lessons. You might remember at the beginning of my presentation, I'll show my presentation again, that I had these words, wear different hats, team player, back on track. You'll see these on the platform, stay on top of things, wear different hats, team player. So just like on a soccer team, if you're a team player, uh, if you're on a business team or a working team, you're working together. Um, so you can practice these expressions, practice these conversations. 
Um, so you have lots and lots of lessons here to practice with. These are called, uh, we call this series the fast track contractions. So in English, we say got to or want to, but we also say wanna, gotta. So for example, we could say uh, very formal English would be like, do you want to go to the movies? Do you want to go to the restaurant? But uh, Americans don't really speak that way. We speak uh, more casually and it goes faster. Just like in French, the French also have liaison. Uh, in English, we also say, uh, do you want to go to the restaurant? Wanna, do you want to go to the restaurant? Uh, it's a little more casual type of English, but it's very common. So it's good for you to practice that. So we have contractions like that, gotta, wanna, how did you, how'd ya, you can practice those. Um, there's also more, more business lessons, scheduling a meeting with a coworker, presentation advice, um, dinner with a coworker. Um, so all kinds of dis different situations. There's sports lessons. Maybe some of the students like sports, um, you know, hat trick, which is soccer, slam dunk, which is basketball. Some of the sports expressions are also used in business situation. So for example, um, some people might know Michael Jordan, uh, you know, he, he's great at doing the slam dunks, but also slam dunk means that something is very easy. So if you say, oh, that project is a slam dunk, it means it's very easy. So you can learn and practice these expressions to uh, sound a little bit more natural. And when you do a Zoom meeting, like with, you know, people from around the world, um, you'll have a better understanding of everyday English everyday English by, by practicing these. And at first it feels kind of hard, I'll be honest. Learning a new language is not easy. So I know it's very challenging. Um, you know, I've learned Spanish and I've learned Japanese too. And believe me, Japanese is a very hard language. Uh, but if you work at it, if you keep practicing, just like anything, your EO will get better and better every day. Your pronunciation will get better and better every day. So, you know, Keep, uh, you know, keep up the good work, keep working on it, and you'll definitely get better. So we made these short lessons so you can practice a little bit every day. Yes, and they will receive uh, emails, uh, daily emails in their emails to remind them to use it uh, or to take a lesson for five minutes or. Yes, yes. So I can show you settings um, in your profile. You can set, um, you know, how often you want to get reminders. So if I click this here, it says send daily reminder emails. If I click yes, then every day I'm going to get an email reminding me to do it. So we'll, we'll help you. Um, but set goals for yourself. Uh, personal motivation is the most important factor for your success. So if you want to be, you know, practicing every day, then set this as Nora Huda recommended. I recommend it also. Um, you know, send daily emails, we can send weekly emails, uh, community feedback, uh, promotional information. If you want the lessons to autoplay, like when you click on it, it automatically starts. Um, you can click autoplay and it'll, it'll switch for you. That's in the preferences. So um, uh, later we're going to send you a link and you can sign up. But if you have any questions, if you're ever concerned about how flow works, or if you have tech, need some technical help, just contact us anytime. Um, uh, we're happy to help you. We want to make everybody successful.